Hey, DVader0086 here, playing some Slime Rancher. Um, very nice little game. A uh, game in which you get to go ahead and you get to... Um, well, let's just leave it like this. You get to own a farm, just like in Harvest Moon or any of those other farming games. And you get to take care of these little slimes here. So... You gotta take good care of these little guys here. So we're just they're what they call plutes are basically um what they call plutes are basically um hmm, I guess they're droppings from the little guys. Don't really know what else you wanna call it. Uh, apparently the things that I captured in here decided that they were going to go ahead and leave, so... So that's what they were doing. That's why they're no longer there anymore. I think they all got away. Sometimes they do that. So I've got three rock slimes here. Back in you bastards go. And you guys can have your carrots back. Basically, when they eat, once they eat something that's acceptable to them, they'll uh, they'll go ahead and they'll, like I said, leave the droppings, as they say. So I don't think I have any more chickens left. So better go get some. Luckily, I keep a fresh supply of chickens over here, so... There we go. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna shoot those little chickens in with this slime. This, this is a cat slime. He's very friendly. And I can load them in the hopper here, too. So they get automatically fed. I have to double check to see if there is anything growing. Looks like there's still stuff growing. Shoot this stuff in there. Okay. Uh, this one looks like it could use a fresh patch. So, let's go ahead and stick this in here. We'll get some pogo fruits growing. There we go. And, basically, the way you've got a vacuum gun, and basically the way that this works is... These little guys will get in your way sometimes. Um, there's ones that will deal you damage, that's why you've got health and stuff like that. And uh, a lot of them are cute and cuddly. Some of them can be kind of dangerous. Um, like, for example, the uh, spiky ones, they like to roll and attack you if you get too close. So, and there's a lot of other dangerous ones too. Like, for example, there's the tar. The tar is when one of those little pink slimes there um, eats a plort of another type and they become this type right here, this combination pink cat thing. Normally the cats are gray, this is a pink cat. Uh, if he eats another plort of another type, then it becomes unstable and becomes a tar, basically. So I'll collect some extra fruits. Because you can collect these extra fruits for free. And I collect some water too. As I might need it later. Um, water is good because the fact that uh, you can use them to fight the tars. Uh, kind of sad about it, but you can. You, that's what you can use to kill them. There's a free chicken. And there's some slimes that eat particular things. There's some slimes that are a little bit more picky. So the further you get in, the further you'll see more of these. Uh, more of these. Um, now, let's see, there's one that just evolved right there. So if I eat this chicken... Oh, that's a different chicken. 
And I don't have that chicken, so... There we go. Stony hen. Now, eventually at some point we might start seeing some tars. And it usually happens when, like I said, they combine with a different plort type. So, this is a monster island. This is where there's some bad slimes. So, usually the music changes. Um, here, here's, here's a tar right here. It just formed. He'll eat anything, including you. There we go. Ouch. No oh, bastard. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so you can use your money to upgrade stuff. Stuff like that. Not that very much similar from, um from uh, uh, any of those other rancher games. This is just a first-person rancher game. Uh, Kid-friendly, not violent. Um, you know, you can go to sleep when you're done. You know, just think of Harvest Moon or that uh, other game that's like Harvest Moon. I'm trying to think of it. It's on Steam. Uh, Stardew Valley. Think that sometimes, too. There we go. You gotta venture a little bit deeper in order to get those other slimes. And some of them, I, be I believe, only come out at night, so. There's a stony hen. We'll stick it in the pen here. There we go. And this is the, the thing right here. It says, okay, well, if you get me all these things, like stony hens and rooster and a rooster and six carrots, I'll give you. It doesn't really say what it's gonna give you. Um, oh, okay, this is what it'll give you. Some hen, regular hens, rock plorts, hurt beets, and cube berries. So those are all things that you can find in the world, or you can use the item exchange there if you have it. Um, you don't get any money. Um, the only way that you get money is from plorts, and then you can use it to upgrade your materials. Like, for example, I got a, um, you have to pay attention to the slimes, they eat different things. The pink ones will eat anything. The uh, kitties, they eat meat only. Uh, those rock ones right there, they only eat vegetables, so carrots are good for them. And uh, I've got some fruits here, pogo fruits, so I just stick them back where they belong. I've got some extra carrots here, so I've got a, quite a little collection of carrots. I don't think it can hold anymore. Ugh. So, I believe you can increase additional storage, or you can create another silo if you want. So I always have fruits and vegetables on hand, and I always have chickens on hand. And, uh... You saw that big giant gray slime, well, you gotta feed him chickens. So you gotta come up with lots of chickens and go shove them in his mouth, and then once he's had enough, he'll explode. So... Here, I have some more carrots. He's got his two chickens in there. As far as this pen goes, I used to have some ones that had the ability to fly. Um, uh, they usually get pretty antsy when they're hungry. So maybe I need to buy one of these things. I've got lots of money. I think they're they're I think they're a nocturnal type, so I think that's probably why. And I could have an auto plort to collector as well too. And let's put in the music box. So I'm gonna go hunt some nighttime ones. It's getting to be nighttime. Around nighttime, the uh, um, around nighttime, the uh, um, night types come out. 
And uh, I believe the types that I had in there before, um, those were night types as well too, so they should be out and about. But at night time it could get more dangerous, so I'm going to have to go stock up on more water. I think I can install a fountain, and you can expand your ranch as well too, I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. But at some point, late at night, the tars start becoming rampant, and those tars will start eating everything. Ah, uh, here's one of those nocturnal ones. There we go. Here you are. No, I don't want the tabby one. Shoot it back. I don't know why it's giving me the basics. I think it probably does this every time I launch the game. No! Ow! Ah! Go away. Ugh. Yeah, I think these, uh... Phosphio slimes, they only come out at night, I think. And... Hmm, no tars yet. And no other additional Phosphios ones. These are the only ones that I've been able to find. Alright, well let's go visit the fat tabby. I've got some hens. I thought I heard some hens around here somewhere. Can find some more. Sometimes the hens, they'll come out of these nests and stuff. These little tabby ones, they'd like to eat that. So... Alright. Get out of my way. Find that bridge. Where's that bridge? Not that way. Here's the bridge. Okay. There we go. Uh, so there were some phosphorus ones here. Not anymore. Here's another one. Crap, I don't want those. Bye-bye. You can keep your pink plort. They're kind of not worth a lot anymore to me. No, oh, I forgot. I think you have to go up that way. Uh, flashlight. There we go. So, I mean, I find this a nice, relaxing game. Um, there's a lot of people out there who would probably disagree with me. This, oh, this is a boring game or something like that, but I find it to be an interesting game. It sort of lets you know if there's something dangerous nearby, the music will change, that kind of stuff. Um, so I'll have to go back this way. Ah! <laughs> well, nothing dangerous so far, but like I said, as time goes on, sometimes the tars, they get pretty ravenous and commonplace. Here's some more. Come here. Come on, you. And you can sort of use your vacuum to push them, too, if you want. Uh, there's also golden slime as well, too. I don't know how to catch it. I've seen it every once in a great while. Um, I'm guessing that's... I'm guessing. And there we go. There they go. And they'll be solar shielded, so they'll be able to eat. And... There we go. Um, still more carrots coming... Fruit should be done. E. Here we go. Uh, sleep until morning. You can always check your star mail in the morning. Basically, they'll tell you silly messages like this stuff. Um, sometimes there's different stuff available. You can expand your ranch. Uh, one of the expansions, I believe, is over here. E to activate. So it'll cost you this much. 
can expand your ranch. These guys are still here. And these guys aren't hostile at all, so that's always good. Oh, stop being intelligent. I know you guys want to leave, but that's why I put the solar shield up. There you go. Hey, what are you doing out of your cage? Get back in there. I guess you're gonna need to have some better security for these guys. And this guy is out of chicken. Oops. Oh, I don't have enough space. Okay. Go. Carrots. I got too many carrots. Might as well just give them all the rock slimes. Yeah, and sometimes these guys will escape from their cages and just kind of pick them right back up and then put them right back where they belong. There. Have some food so you can eat. There you go. Now taking care of these guys is going to be a little tricky. There we go. Carrots in first. Now these guys don't really get agitated, but they do get to be a little bit antsy. Kind of like that, like kind of like those ones over there. They fly, they jump up high, so. Let's go get this guy some chickens. I'm gonna have to get more of him. Hey, chickens. Elder chicken. There we go. So I like to keep a good population of chickens. Not too many, not too little. There you go. You guys eat up all the fruit already? Jeez. We'll harvest some more fruit. I have absolutely no idea what happens to them after they... Um, I have absolutely no idea what happens to them after they... Um, if they get exposed to the sun. They're nocturnal type. I'm assuming that they probably die. But not really too sure about that. Let's go over here. Instant exchange. Okay, okay. As long as you guys ain't getting out, that's what I care about. Oh, and it's got, here's my port collecting. So just suck it. Get it. There we go. There's no more in there. Switch to number one. So yeah, if you're familiar with Minecraft, you'll see very similar controls. Very relaxed type of style of game. More carrots are growing. We could get this expansion over here too. I don't know if these are ranch expansions or if these are location expansions. I'm not really 100% sure about that. And the big giant, the big giant uh, um, thing was sitting on a, a button like this. I'm wondering if that's like a teleporter or something. There was another one that was a pink one, but like I said, the cat one. Well, he was sitting on a, on a teleporter pet one. Let's see if I can find an old chicken. There. There we go. 
And when they get old, I kind of suck them up and feed them the cat. And I, I think it's cumulative. I think you can just sit there and you can... Whatever. Here, more chickens. I don't need that. I do need the chickens, though. Let's go get some more wild chickens. They're called Restoros, I suppose. Whoa. Ow! <laughs> Not exactly hostile, but still they'll hurt you if, they, if you let them. No, actually, this is this game is an early access, and I've been finding it in very much difficult to pull away, especially when you're sitting here playing. There are very little games in which they'll actually draw me in and prevent me from stopping playing. And I think after night comes, um, I might do some additional... Oh! These Largo ones, some of them can get quite big. They can sort of clog your vacuum, so... I need a regular chicken. Can't use these little ones. Oh, that's a rock chicken. Hmm. I hope it doesn't get eaten up. I gotta go here. Where's that rock chicken? Where'd you go? See if I can find you. Nope, I think somebody got to him already. Damn you, chickens. Damn you, slimes. Eating all the chickens. Get suck up the chicks, at least. Might not look like much, but they still come as meat, sadly. Oh, I see these are a little bit different ones. These are rock ones. Okay. Here, get these ones. I don't have any stony chickens. I don't know what the difference are, but... I don't want to keep those stony ones. Unless I find the little chickens. Again. Come on. Chickens, 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 chickens. There we go. Let's break the one. Chickadoos. Oh, well, by the way, this game is coming out for Xbox One. Similar to Ark Survival Evolved, um, it's early access right now on PC, just like Ark Survival Evolved is. Well, I heard some cheaping. There we go. There's another one. Um, so Ark Survival Evolved is still in early access, but it's released on Xbox One. Uh, it's slated for release soon, I believe. So, number two. There we go. These guys, oh, these guys are too little. I can't feed them. Come on, where'd you guys go? There you go. Hmm, they have to be mature chickens. Okay. Well, I can at least take them back to my ranch and let them grow up. Regular chicken around here somewhere? I heard regular chicken. Oh well. Yeah, the first time I played this game, I played it for three hours straight. It's like, holy crap, where'd the time go? Might unlock that new expansion as well, too. I'm have to take a look. Hey, chickens. There you go.
like 700 something. Or if I get the rock ones, maybe. I'll take a look at these. Oh, I could put higher walls. I don't need to. I only do that if, I, if, if they're high jumpers or if their population is like... Ah! Oh, oh, bastards. Okay. Go back. Have your carrots. This should get me to 1,700, maybe. Check the exchange. Uh, rock wouldn't give me 15. It could. There we go. I'll unlock the mushroom expansion for my ranch. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. Overgrowth. There we go. Yeah, this is not really much of an expansion. This is more... Oh, it is. Okay. It is an expansion. As well as a new environment. I must be a teleporter. I don't think I've unlocked the ability to use teleporters quite yet. It looks like I've got some... things here. Keep your uh, critters in different environments. But I heard chickens. Oh, there's two. There are chickens here. Come here, you. Free range slimes, maybe? <laughs> it does take you to different locations, too. That's good. Never been here before. There's that golden bastard. Come here. Fucker. Oh, away he goes. Damn it. I don't know how to catch him. <laughs> I'll have to look it up sometime when I got the spare time. Interesting. Oh, circles. Chicken. Come here. Yeah, I think this is a totally new area. So every time you expand, you can go to different areas. Oh, here's a key. I have a key. Who's this one? Woohoo! Where's this take me? Environment down. Ah! The angry ones. Fuckers. <laughs> okay, here's some peaceful ones. Oh, okay, so this takes you to this area over here. Okay. So it allows you to get back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, but you're going over these things that could be hostile. These are hostile ones. They got a different look on their face. So, oh, there's another chicken. Oh, okay. So this is where the stony chickens come from. Come here. Where are you? There you go. And they must go down there and feed those ones down there. Some of these are hostile and some of these are not. Okay, here's a chicken. I'm guessing maybe they're stony chickens because they just need to be specific. I don't know. Good place to go get them though. Alright, well, let's go back to the ranch. And then we'll get off this thing. Ah, get out of my way. Ow, oh, you bastard. Ow. Oh. There. 
There we go. We'll just leave these cluckers alone. There we go. Oh, you guys need more food, don't you? Alright, let me see if those berries have grown. Well, they have not. Oh, well. We got a small supply over here. Four. There. Eat up. You guys sure do eat a lot. At least you stay in this time and you didn't leave, so. Alright. And that's it for this edition. So, goodbye.